man, there is such a such a broad spectrum of skill levels. So when somebody says I'm a black belt in judo, I don't know what that means, to be honest, because I've met black belts who are just absolute killers in almost most all aspects of grappling, and then I've met black belts who are, you know, pretty good at throwing on the floor and, and nothing else. And you guys who are black belts who are pushovers, and guys who are black belts who are world beaters. Like in, in your experience, have you seen this sort of diversity of skill level in, in judo amongst black belts? Oh yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. You know, like um, <clears throat> because there, there there's um. I mean, there, there's some black belts that are more, uh, what do you call it? They're there for, it's more recreational. Yeah. You know, like they, 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 they enjoy the art, they do the katas, you know. Um, they didn't really uh, like to compete, so they got their black belt, um, you know, because the way you get your black belt here, right, in, uh, in Canada, is that once you get your brown belt, then after that, you have to go pass, uh, you have to accumulate 120 points in competition. Right. And you have to pass the exam in front of like a whole bunch of, um, uh, uh, in front of the federation, you know, some, some judges okay. where they, they call out some techniques and you have to perform a kata. And um, right. so it's so not something you that, that your uh, instructor can give to you in, uh, in the gym. Exactly, exactly. And now the thing is, for the 120 points, you could either accumulate it through competition, which is the fastest way. Or, okay, like you could, uh, uh, if you don't want to compete, well, then it's going to take you, it could take you three to five years mm. to get that, to get that black belt because you need those points. If you don't have those points, you're not getting your black belt. If you're a competitor, then you're going to get it relatively fast. You know, you just do, uh, uh, you do, all, you do a couple of, you do, you do one season of competition and you could get your, you could get, you could accumulate enough points. And then from there so you do your exam. You get, you get points your black belt. without competition. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Every every year that you um, you pay your fees to the judo federation, uh, when you get your brown belt, you get ten points. Okay. So basically, if if you just keep showing up, eventually you'll get that belt, right? Yeah. And if you want a ref, like if you want a ref, you can get maybe ten points too, for each okay. competition that you ref. I think. And then yeah. if you uh, if you do seminars, I think you can you can get. Uh, um, you can get 10 points too per seminar. So hmm. you would have to do quite a bit of uh, seminars, quite a bit of refing, and then on top of that, every year you, you, you pay your registration fees for judo, so you would get your 10 points. So it would take, you could get your black belt, it, was, it would just take you a lot longer, that's all. <laughs>